how to take a snapshot in PDF. In the vast digital universe, securing our PDF files seems like a smart idea. It prevents unauthorized editing or printing of our documents. However, like everything in life, even the best practices have their nuances. We, the readers, are often the first to bear the cost of these sophisticated security systems. Imagine for a moment that you're a student seeking reliable sources of information to write an essay. You begin searching for books, scientific papers, and related dissertations. After hours of collecting documents and carefully analyzing their indexes, you're ready to take notes. But then you realize that the documents do not allow you to add notes or copy their content. Frustrating, isn't it? Welcome back to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. My name is George, and in today's video, we're going to explore how to take snapshots in a PDF using the PDF Elements screenshot feature, and how you can leverage this, along with many other features in PDF Element, to improve the way we work with protected documents. You have probably heard the terms snapshots or screenshots before. Nowadays, Almost every operating system like Windows, Android, Mac, or iOS lets you take screenshots. As you likely already know, taking screenshots can be super helpful in different situations. Whether you're trying to record a technical issue for support, save important information, or just share some visual content with others, screenshot features are really versatile. But how do screenshots relate to protected documents? Well, PDF Element has really stepped up by adding a screenshot feature that lets you tap into its other technologies, bringing them together to unlock a bunch of opportunities, especially when it comes to dealing with protected documents. Let's begin with the basics, making annotations. Using PDF Element's screenshot feature, you can easily turn that page with important information into an image with just a couple of clicks. This report is protected and we are not able to edit or copy the text. You can find the screenshot feature listed in the More menu, which you can access from the Home tab. Once opened, select the area of the page you need to turn into an image. Next, you'll see a toolbar where you can add shapes, highlight, add text, or use the pencil to draw. Moreover, if you're dealing with a document that has sensitive information, you can utilize the Mosaic tool to blur out the details and make it unidentifiable. When everything is done, simply click on the Save Image button. Making annotations with the screenshot feature is really convenient, don't you think? Since images are easy to share and access on any device, this method can really help you out of a jam. But is there anything you can do to interact with the content? Well, the screenshot feature provides us with three tools that we can use to interact with the content. The first one is Extract Image Text. This tool is located within the pop-up toolbar of the screenshot feature. By using this tool, PDF Element will perform an optical character recognition process on the text within the captured area of the document. The extracted text is selectable, which means we can copy it to create a new PDF, note, or text document. The second option offered by the screenshot feature that allows us to interact with the content is translate text on image. This tool is also located within the pop-up toolbar of the screenshot feature. And with it, we can translate the text within the captured area of the document into a language of your choice. The third option is the perfect solution for those situations where converting individual pages of a document to images is not enough. Scrolling screenshot. Imagine you found a document full of valuable information. The problem is, the document is protected and therefore cannot be printed, commented on or edited. So if you want to jot down notes, your only option is to do it in a separate file. Recreating a document just to take notes might not be an issue if it's a short document, but can you imagine having to do this with an entire ebook? Well, this is where the capabilities of scrolling screenshot come to the rescue. The scrolling screenshot feature is accessible both from the home tab and the toolbar of the screenshot feature. Once opened, Select the area of the first page of the document and you'll see PDF elements start scrolling down to capture screenshots of all the pages in the document. Once the process is complete, pay attention to the toolbar of this feature. With this button, you can automatically convert the screenshot that PDF element took into a PDF document. Perfect. Now we have a copy of this document as if it were a scan version. As soon as you open this document, PDF Element will automatically identify it as an image and give us the option to perform an OCR process on it. 
this optical character recognition process will make the text and images in this document interactive, just as the original version of the document. With this recreated version of the document, we finally have complete freedom to interact with the content. Now, from this point onward, the possibilities are virtually infinite. The documents you create using this process will have no restrictions, allowing you to make edits and annotations just as you would with any other document. On the other hand, if the whole point of making annotations was to add notes where you synthesize the content of a paragraph to facilitate your study, let me share with you a quick trick that can help you streamline the entire process. In previous videos, we explored the AI features that PDF Element 10 offers. In a situation like this, the summarize and explain features can work wonders for us. By keeping the AI sidebar active, you can select any paragraph or text snippet that's giving you trouble. Once selected, you will see the text automatically copied into the input field of the AI sidebar. Then, depending on your needs, you can use the buttons above to input the field to formulate a prompt and get explanations or summaries. And finally, you can copy Lumi's response to the clipboard and paste it into a note. Pretty cool, right? In my opinion, the combination of these features feels like an incredible way to jot down notes on protected documents. Finally, I want to talk to you about what, in my opinion, is the most powerful among all the capture tools that PDF Element provides us, screen recording. In practical terms, the screen recording feature allows you to record what's happening on your screen, capturing both the audio from your applications and your microphone. Imagine that you didn't find a protected document while browsing the internet. Instead, it was shared with you during a virtual meeting. This means you'll have to pay attention to both the meeting and the document simultaneously. Without the option to insert your comments into the document because of the protection, staying focused on the meeting and comprehending everything being discussed can be quite overwhelming, don't you think? Well, with PDF Element on your side, these situations won't be a problem at all. The screen recording feature is located within the tools of the screenshot feature accessible from the More menu in the Home tab. As you use the screen recording tool, simply select the area of your screen you want to capture. Keep in mind, this tool captures not only what's happening with the PDF element environment, but also in other applications. This means you could also record the video conference. After setting the screen area to capture, you'll see the Features toolbar pop up. Among the buttons on this toolbar, you'll find these two buttons that you can use to ensure capturing the correct audio input and output. Once everything is set, you can start recording by pressing the red button. Once the recording has started, you can use the tools on the toolbar to add comments, shapes, arrows, or drawings to the document. When the conference is over, simply press the stop button to end the recording. As soon as the recording is finished, PDF Element will notify you where your recording is stored and you can access it through the open folder button. And there you have it. By capturing the screen, we not only save a valuable visual recording for future reference, but also create an interactive environment that facilitates real-time collaboration and understanding during our meetings. All right, that's all for now. Document protection is key to safeguarding the integrity and interests of the author. However, there are moments when this technology can make the reading experience complex for those of us who simply seek to understand the content without infringing on the author's intent. Fortunately, the screenshot feature, along with PDF Element's powerful arsenal of features, offers practical and harmless solutions to these problems. If, like me, you find the potential of PDF Element impressive, give it a try. You can download it for free from the official PDF Element website and start boosting your productivity today. Before I say goodbye, I want to thank you for staying with me till the end of this video. If this video was helpful for you, I'd appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. I will continue bringing you more videos with many tips and tricks to make your work easier. You can also take a look at the rest of the videos on this channel. There you will find many more videos just like this one. Have a great day and see you next time.